My name is Sarah Dickert and I'm the horticulturist for the Hirshhorn Museum and Sculpture Garden. Mm -hmm. This exhibit for our Habitat exhibition here at Smithsonian Gardens is about the migration of monarchs as they travel between here on the northeast coast and Mexico where they hibernate in the winter. We wanted to have an exhibit for Habitat but that would have a more minimal impact on the overall garden design of the Hirshhorn. This museum has their collection of modern art out in the garden, so we knew we wouldn't be able to have large sculptural pieces as we've incorporated into some of our other exhibits. So we wanted to have something that would have plants and would talk about habitat, but would not be a distraction from the art pieces that are here, but that would still be a part of our exhibition as well. We speak to how people are able to incorporate plants for the monarchs and the caterpillars that they can eat. So nectar sources for the butterflies, so they have something that they're able to eat as they're traveling, uh, as well as planting a very keystone plant, which is milkweed. And that plant is the only plant that monarch caterpillars can eat to live and survive. So it is a crucial, crucial, crucial component to a monarch garden if you're trying to support monarchs. They have declining populations, and so anything that we can do to help support them and support their populations by providing them with food and shelter is very beneficial to them, and they can use all the help they can get and very, with very little impact or very little input on most people uh, on their garden, they can help uh, boost monarchs' populations as they're traveling. So what's really nice about this exhibit is that it's on a very, very busy street for pedestrians as they're walking between the various uh, Smithsonian museums or to go visit other sites here in Washington, D.C. And so it may not be a spot that visitors intentionally go or know that they are going to be walking past an, an exhibit that we have, but it does catch their attention with the signage that we have that they're able to stop, even just take a minute or two to read what we have, read about monarchs, understand how important it is to support their habitats, and then even if it's just one little bit of information that they're able to take with them for the rest of the day, hopefully they're able to, to use that and maybe if incorporate into their gardens at home if it's something that resonates with them. The one thing that I really hope that visitors take away from this exhibit is that how easy it is for them to protect monarch habitats and they can really have a huge impact on the monarch populations that we have in this area and in their home areas and that it's something they can do with very little cost on their own.